All right, so I'm first going to show the, the tree so you guys can take a look at it. You can just pause and check it out. Um, and I'll just run through it real quick. I'm just pressing one on every node that I click so I can change it on the viewer. So we have the original video. We took out a, uh, the IBK color. We fixed, we fixed that to try and get as much green behind the, the girl as possible using all the node functions. Then we went to the, we plugged in the, we plugged that into the gizmo color. So the IBK color goes to the gizmo color. The foreground's plugged into the original footage, and now we got a nice little matte. Then we pulled out a grade alpha from that, which is a regular grade node. We changed the channel input to alpha in order to manipulate that. We moved the black and white points in order to clean this up. We get a nice little tight white matte. And then we merge that back in with the original matte with a matte node. And then we used the mix on this node right here to be able to get a nice little mix between those two mats. Then from there, we went out to the side to try and pull out hair information from this. So we grabbed the gray node from the original from this footage that we have right now, which is just the isolated girl. We crushed the values a little bit, as you can see. Crushed the values a little bit. And we pulled out a Luma key, which you have to press A to be able to see the alpha. And we messed around with the Luma key to try and pull out some information from it. Moving these two sticks right here. Make sure that it's on luminous key. Then we've shuffled out the alpha from that. So now, no matter what I press, where I press A on this viewer, I only have the alpha showing up. So now I can go ahead and plug in the invert for that. So I can get all the information that I want as white or one. So that's what I want to affect. And the way we do that is we just create a shuffle node. And we can just go ahead and click. At, by default, it'll be like this. So all we did was just click them all into the alpha so you get that info out. So and then from there, we went ahead and tried to clean it up a little bit more by creating another grade node, making sure that the input was on alpha. Again, even though you might not need it because you already have it on here, but just, just to keep it consistent. And then we tried to clean up some of that background noise by just crushing the black and white points again. From there, we merged that. From there, we merged in some roto, roto shapes because all I want to do is isolate the hair from our original footage, which is right here. This is our original mat. We see that it's nice and clean white mat for the hair. So we want to grab this information and add it to this so we can get rid of this black. So I created a roto shape just to isolate this hair out. That's what this roto shape right here is for. And then I merged that together. So now I only have this hair information. It's nice and clean. Not to get rid of the face, uh, the face uh, mat, we, we create another roto shape just to, create, just to get a nice little shape around the face. So this is a roto shape for that. We merge that in using a matte node. We change the operation to in to get that result. Then we did another one again to get rid of the dress. And we, we created another matte node, same operation in order to get rid of the dress. So now if we run through this tree really quick, we'll see that our mat changed from this to that, to that, to that. And now we plug that mat in to a grade node, because all we wanted to affect is the hair. The grade node is plugged into, it's pl plugged into the mask of the grade node, because that's all we wanted to affect, it's just that hair. And from the grade on itself, the correction method we, we I, I chose was just to select the red channel and then play around with that to get the red hair. There's other ways you could do it. You can go ahead and isolate. You can go ahead and uh, just turn them all on. It'll give you a more rough effect on the hair. You just affect the red channel. You just want to affect the green channel. I mean, it, that's all the options are right there, just using that one node. This node right here, all it was was just to crush the background and get rid of some of that noise right here. And then this roto paint was just to, ice, to get rid of those nasty lines that we were getting from before. These lines right here. We just masked that out using this roto paint. And then this is our final result. Final, this, is a, this is the final matte for the hair. Final matte for the girl. That matte that we have for the hairs, that's how, the, that's how it's affecting the hair. Now I'll go full view.
see that it's holding pretty well. And then I'll show the script again. So you guys want to take a look at it. And these are just backdrop notes to help and isolate just to show what we did just for the hair, which is all this right here. And just on a, on a tip, just to help out for speed and stuff, if you ever need to duplicate a node, like right here in this case, we duplicated, we cloned this node because we don't want it. It's, just, it's doing the same operation. I could have gone ahead and created this shape in this node, but I, instead I just created this, this, this node separately so I could have uh, individual control in case I need to use it somewhere else. So I can just clone this out. And if you want to find out any shortcuts for it, just right click on the node, go to edit. You'll see that there's a bunch of shortcuts, duplicate, clone, Duplicate is going to duplicate a clone. It's going to clone it. Like pretty much anything you do to that one node, every clone that you made of that node is going to get affected the same way as that one. So keep that in mind. Very different from duplicate. Uh, and if there's also more shortcuts, you can find out if you go into the node, you can you can pull nodes off. You can uh, input switch the inputs from A and B, so you don't have to keep like dragging out the lines or anything. You can just go ahead and you know swap A and B, Shift X. So if you ever forget those shortcuts. You can just go in, right-click any node, go to edit, and you have them all right here. Is there a clone for a cow? What's can that? You, can you have a cow? Can you actually clone the cow? Do you not have to worry about making little tweaks on the... You mean, can you clone a line? Like one of these pipes? Uh, like a roto path. Yeah. Oh, okay. a roto path? Oh, you mean, uh, okay. You mean if I wanted to clone this right here? This particular shape? Well, that's what that's what you're doing when you when you do that when you uh, when you clone this right here. If I go ahead and clone this, I guess you can. Yeah, you can't clone it. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. If I have a new roto, sh I can create a new roto paint. And I think somebody was saying there's a way to make it so it is it does the same clone type of operation when you copy and paste it. So I have this one right here. Let's say I want to copy this, this shape. Mm, Got to make it bigger. And copy this one, go into this one, and paste it. And I have the same shape on both. Right. Now, when you go back to that, it's not quite so 